The age of the sons of God is here. The rise of the incorruptibles, the immortals, a nation of God. Get ready, offsprings of the tribe of Enoch, ascend into the realm of absolute reception as we herald the bondservant of Christ, John Enosika. He is an apostolic voice, the trump of God, awakening the incorruptible seed of Christ in every believer. I'm a messenger of God sent into this generation to raise incorruptible sons of God that would defy physical death. A breed of believers that will be captured in the depths of the Lord, in, in the consciousness of Yahweh, completely body, soul, and spirit. He is not a revivalist. He is not a reformist. He is a transformer, the voice of fire. Fire burns, fire purifies, fire breaks, fire kills flesh and blood. Culminating the last baptism of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of fire. Sons of God, let us welcome the ministry of the bond servant of Christ, John Enosike. Have you ever wondered why we believe in Trinity and Trinity has not yet been explained? The, we, we just say that we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yet we don't really want to dive deeper into deeper truths. You see, God, I, I believe in the Trinity. I believe in the threefold God. I believe in the triune God. Is that okay? I absolutely believe in that. But beyond what we've been told and taught in the body of Christ is what I'm about to present with you or to you tonight. I want to submit to you that there is much more, there's more to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And tonight we're going to be sharing about the invisible rulers. And I want to encourage you that I'm going to keep the time, certainly, because it's a four-day conference. And I want to encourage you to please don't miss one day. If you're here, don't dare to miss tomorrow or next. Because you might live with a lot of confusion, which will be cleared as we move on. Do you understand? Remember, no doctor becomes a doctor in one day. That's the first year, second year, third year, into the seventh year. If you, if you uh, graduate yourself out in, the, in, in your second year, you are a quack doctor, <laughs> fake doctor. You might have known some things, but you are not trustworthy because you've not graduated. You've not been through the entire process of the, of the, pre, uh, of the pre expected knowledge. Do you understand that, sons of God? So, now I want to encourage you that what you, you're going to be hearing might sound slightly different and challenging, but please, please, remember we have one faith, one Christ, one blood, all right? Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he is the soon coming King. And there's no other way, there's no other truth, there's no other life except that of Jesus the Christ. Is that okay now? So we are on the same foundation. Amen. But what we're about to share with you tonight is deeper than religion. We are about to break into the reins and dimensions of the spirit that the Lord has approved for us in these last days. Amen, sons of God. Now tonight I want to focus on introducing to us um, the invisible rulers, okay? We, we're going to give you a bit of insights into different creatures, different dimensions, different realms, okay, that have different rulers, okay? And then tomorrow, we're going to dive into the rebelled gods. Is that okay? And of course, there are spiritual nations over physical nations. So we have about three major topics to deal with, which those topics will start from tomorrow and next and the other day. But today, I want to introduce to us uh, on, on, on the invisible what? Say it again. The invisible rulers. All right. Now, uh, before you see tonight, let's dive a bit deeper into something called the triune God or what the Bible calls the Trinity or the Godhead. Somebody said the Godhead. 
All right, so we're going to get a bit deeper into that dimension tonight and then to draw our understanding and revelation, and then we can go deeper from tomorrow. Is that okay? And you may be seated and God bless you. Give a hand to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, <laughs> first Lord, every realm has a ruler. Every dimension has a ruler. Every civilization has a ruler. And you all agree with me that God does not have just one civilization. There are different civilizations. There are different civilizations. There are creatures that are invisible that are visible creatures. There are dimensions or realms that are physical and some are not physical, but these are tangible dimensions. Please, that you don't see certain dimensions or creatures does not mean that they don't exist. And don't let this uh, physical deluded scientists destroy you and to confine you into some kind of optical limitation. Somebody said, don't confine yourself on the optical illusion. You are gonna break out of optical illusion. And ma'am, somebody said, I am breaking out of optical illusion. We would not depend and limit ourselves, uh, okay, uh, when, uh, uh, until scientists, discover that there are demons and spirits beyond here. Are you, are you with me, sons of God? All right, so tonight, um, we are going to look into different dimensions, different realms, and different creatures of God and their rulers. Praise the Lord. And I want you to understand that this physical realm, this physical place, this, this natural civilization is subject to a certain ruler. And the Bible, in fact, the, the Bible is very clear about it. The Bible calls the devil the prince of this world. The Bible calls him the ruler of this world. The Bible calls him the God of this world. <laughs> the Bible says that the God of this world has blinded their eyes. Not to see, not to see, not to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when you see people not believe in Jesus, not believe in Christ, it is not them. There's a higher spirit, there's a higher influence, there's a higher control on them that causes them not to believe. Okay, the first scripture I want to read to you is found in the book of 1 Corinthians. It says, for the God of this world has blinded the eyes of them that do not receive the gospel of Christ. All right, the God of this world has what? Blinded the eyes of them that refuse to accept the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, okay, I, I would rather want to read that so that we can uh, establish that point. Praise the Lord. Let's get to the book. First of all, let's look at um, Matthew chapter four, uh, 12, verse 24. Matthew 12, verse 24. And when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow... Do it not cast, do it not cast at devils, but by what? Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. Somebody said the prince of the devils. Not that point. Now let's get to the book of Second Corinthians, chapter four, verse number four, quickly. Let's read together, everybody. Want to go? In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least. Come on, let's read like we have life in us. One go, come on. In whom the God of this world has blinded, blinded, somebody said blinded, the minds, the mind, come on, say it again. Of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. So it means that, that your physical sight is not your real sight. 
The real sight is the sight of the mind. So whatsoever you have read captures in your mind. What you have heard controls your mind. You see, you see man is not just in a position as man. Man is 95% in a disposition. Getting that point? We are more of in a disposition than in a position. What you hear gives you a disposition. What you've known gives you a disposition. Now, the Bible says that the God of this world blinded their mind. Blinded their mind. How? Through knowledge. Through information through mental, intellectual articulations. The Bible says, in fact, the scripture says in the book of 1 Corinthians that God will destroy the intellectual wisdom of this world. He says he will bring it to naught. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the intellectual wisdom of this world blinds the eyes, the mind of the people not to believe in Jesus Christ. So the God of this world is a blinder. He blinds the minds of the people. But, but that's a very good point for us to know that Satan rules this world. Satan is the ruler of the civilization. And we are going to kick him out of his position. Yeah. And that's why we are in a warfare between the advancement of the kingdom of God versus the advancement of the secular systems. Hallelujah, sons of God. Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. So the expansion of the kingdom of God, the expansion of God's work in this civilization is the only way the kingdom of God will prevail in this world. So we are not going to live here until we dominate here. I, uh, I know I'm going to offend some of you with rapture theories. You want to escape with rapture? No, the kingdom of God must prevail. Yes. Jesus is returning for a glorious, a victorious, and a triumphant ecclesia. Yes. But before we, we, we dominate, we will definitely have to remove ourselves from church and become a nation of God yes. and become the ecclesia of God. Remember, we, we're not a church. We are a nation. We are a people. Oh, hallelujah, sons of God. Nobody enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality. Breaking news. The Pastor John Digital Library is now up and running. Kindly visit our website, www.pastorjohndigitalmedia.com to get messages on sonship, incorruption, immortality, faith, prayer, and many more from the bondservant of Christ, John Anosika. Browse through the catalog and select the messages you like and add to cart. Once this is done, you can check out to make payment with your credit card, debit card, MasterCard, or Visa card. So mightily grew the word of immortality and incorruption and prevailed. Rise above mortality and come to the knowledge of the truth. For further details, kindly email info at pastorjohndigitalmedia.com WhatsApp plus 2763-423-5895 For hard copies, kindly visit our bookshop at 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa.
share this update and alert your friends and family of this wonderful news. 